Hey what's up YouTube, Under Games Day here and today I have a pretty good money making guide for you guys. Um it's like five six hundred six hundred K an hour depending on how fast you can run and click. Um basically we're just gonna be charging orbs. I know if you already like done this for something, I guess you could leave, but I'd rather you not and stick around and hear what I have to say about this and stuff. Uh so I know I have not uploaded anything in a long time. It's probably been like a month. Um it's really, I've been literally, like, so busy, like, zero free time, like, every night working until, like, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, or not, no, not 11 o'clock, but, like, 10, past 10, uh, and then basically just falling asleep. Uh, so, I was in the pit orchestra for the musical at my school, and, uh, we practiced, like, three days a week for, like, three and a half hours, about. So I didn't really have time to do anything. Um but now I also kinda quit RuneScape a while ago. Somewhat. Not I didn't really officially quit, but I kinda just like stopped playing. Um So the reason I'm playing again is because of the two thousand uh seven server revival. Um which I figured would be something really cool and I was kind of looking forward to it. Even though I didn't play during 2007, I was playing during 2008. So I kind of like just missed this error. Um, and from what I hear, I don't think there's going to be a grand exchange because I don't think there was one in August 2007. I think it came out like right around, I thought it was like Christmas of 2007 or right around that time. I don't really know. But um, so that's kind of going to be like, eh, I don't think I'm going to, I, I kind of going to miss the grand exchange. But uh, I'm happy they're making everyone start over and not like if you were this level. They had like records of people's levels in 2007. And I was I'm glad they're making everyone start over. Um, <clears throat> but like I feel like they should have done it right after the grand exchange. I think that would have been a better option, like after free trade and stuff. But I don't know. So let's get into the guide already. Uh, basically, charging orbs. And starting Edgeville, if you don't know how to do this already, where you're going to want to wear this. Actually, my second time recording this because I forgot the air staff. But uh, just light gear. So, spotted cape, um, boots of lightness, if you have any agility stuff, do that. Um, glory, or like some sort of ring of something for uh, fast teleport out just in case. And ring of life, I'm just bringing kind of. Not really a reason. And then, um, if you have a familiar, bring that, of course. But just remember to not fill the familiar up fully. Like, if you have a terror bird, just put six orbs in there, because then when you're done charging, you're going to put those in there and take these out. So you're going to want to have space to move, so you don't have to like keep swapping them slowly. So that's that. So just run south of Edge Bank. Open this little door over here. Oh, and yeah, and Cosmic Runes, which for a Terra Bridge, you'll need like 102, I think it is, exactly, if you use the same amount I am, which is the Cosmic Runes, like 27 plus, uh, so it's like 33. So if you're using like 33 air orbs, it will be like 102, I think. But, um, yeah, we're basically just going to be using the Charge Air Orb spell. But realistically, yeah, this is like 500 to 600k an hour. People on YouTube are saying it's like one mil and stuff. It really isn't one mil. Um, I can't stand that when people like say a guide is like, you know, X amount of money and it's like half that. Just they just say it's get views. Like oh, it's twenty five mil a day, but or or no, let's say it's like ten mil a day, but in reality you have to play twenty four hours in that day to get the ten mil. So it's kind of like no one's gonna do that. So they kind of just say that to make it sound like it's a large number, but. Either way, just follow where I'm going. And I don't think there's no no one over here before when I um did this, but hopefully no one's here now. Good. And charge. <laughs> I don't really know if the profit's better with like the water orbs or something, but I'm pretty sure it would be a lot more like walking and stuff, so it might might not be overall. Um it'll take like a full, like a trip will take I timed it like the other night and it took like three minutes thirty seconds a little less than that so um I'll do profit when we get back but 
like to charge the arrows, you could see the little counter over here. It took a, it takes about like hundred and like two minutes about, and you get pretty good XP for this too. It's like what is it? How much? Seventy six XP per orb. So per trip, that's like a little less than three k, like two point five k maybe. So it's not that bad XP. Um, and yeah, we'll do money in a second. Let's see. Almost done with the inventory. But yeah, I'll, st I'll start um, uploading things like more regularly when I since I have more time now. Um, I haven't been playing too much like Black Ops and stuff, but or Black Ops too. But you know, I'll try. So. I'll do that, and maybe a little Halo 4 if I can get some good games and stuff. Um, I don't really know what else, but if I had a good way to record like PS Vita, I would do that, but I don't, so can't really do that. All right, so once the inventory is done, which mine is just about done, you're gonna hit store on your bird or whatever it is, and then you just put these in, and now you can swap them out in one like transaction. Uh oh, here's a polypore guy, actually can't really hurt me because he's over there. Um, and then we have a few more to do. And we can teleport out of here. One more. So it's, I think, according to this, it takes like four seconds per thing. So that's that. But now we're done. And if there's no one here, that's the glory is just like a backup. It's not really worth it to... Before this, obviously, you'd have to use glories and then sell them and stuff. Uh, but right now, it's kind of not a problem. So, we'll get 33, it should be, because it's 27 in there. Yeah, 33. And then we'll get 102, and then we'll figure it out. Don't worry. <laughs> and we'll figure out our cash per hour. Get the calculator. Alrighty. Oh, I had three left over. So it's... Unless I didn't do one. Did I do all of them? I did. That's kind of weird. Okay. Um, so then I guess it's 99. 99. Cosmic runes. 10. 10. Oh, whoops. 99 at that. Note. 3, 3. And... 3, 3. Okay. So. Let's say it took about... About 3 minutes just to keep it round. And it cost us twenty-four thousand. Actually, wait here. You know, what, let me do the profit first, or like the finished product, so then I can subtract. So fifty-two one three seven minus twenty-four one five six. Okay, and let's say you could do about twenty of these in an hour times that by 20, about 560k. And that's saying that these prices stay the same, and I'm pretty sure I bought these for slightly different prices. I'm sure the prices have changed. So, it's around 600k, like five to, I would say five to 600 safely. Um, like guarantee like 500, unless you're like goofing around. But um, either way, it was kind of funny. I guess someone killed someone and didn't pick up the loot because there was like 300 cosmic runes on the ground so I got some free cosmic runes and they're actually worth a decent amount but either way that's it so it's a pretty good way to make money I mean it's not the best obviously but as of right now this is like one of the only ways I could do this other than farming which I actually need to go check my trees and stuff like that because I would like to bring my farming level up because farming is one of my favorite skills I don't know why I kinda like farming it's kinda just like an easy skill. Not really easy, but it's like, I don't know, it's just kind of fun. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time, and enjoy, even though there's not much to enjoy.